Hello crafters, I hope everyone is well and safe. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five needle felting finishing tips, tricks and techniques to bring your animals from this to this. So if this sounds fun, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to be finishing off this dog with you. So I have plenty left to do and I am kind of really excited about how it's going to be. So actually, the first tip is a tip for the eyes, which tend to be kind of really important for animals. It's always good to have them. Eyes are great. So there's actually two ways to do this. You can actually take, I'm just going to have some here. You can take some black wool and then you're going to want to roll it up into a little ball and then you can felt it down to where you want your eyes to be. I'm not going to do that in this video. What I'm going to do is use some plastic eyes. So you can buy these on Amazon. I'll actually have them linked down below. So my kind of rule of thumb for eyes is the bigger they are, the more quiet or cute they can be. So obviously here, these are just a bit obnoxious. Um, I'm thinking something like this because I still want it to be cute. Maybe I'm not going too much of realis realism here. I mean, obviously. Actually, I might try the smallest ones. Yeah, I think I like the smallest ones for this one. So I'm going to take two of the smallest eyes. I'm just going to kind of mark out where I want the eyes to be and then cut into that. Don't worry, it's for the best in the end. So I'm just going to kind of dig in so then our eyes will just pop right in so I'm going to stick these in at the very end so next our dog actually needs a tail naturally so I'm going to share three different ways of making tails the first one is probably the easiest and it's probably a bit boring as well but it's the one I probably make the most often as it kind of resembles most dogs um, as real as possible. So what you're going to want to make is basically just a little um, line with your wool. So we're just going to felt it into line and always with tails or something you're going to be attaching to a body, leave a bit of unfelted wool at the end. That is so then when you're done with this, you're going to have something of a shape like this, almost like a broom, and you're going to want to felt the unfelted wool to the dog like that and then you'll have a little tail i'm not going to do it like this and i'm going to show two more ways to do it and then i'll decide next way is a bit of a plaited tail and some kind of dogs have it like this not very many but it can be a cute little detail especially for more girly dogs maybe so we're going to take three equal strands once we have those we're going to kind of lay them out and just felt them a little bit out. And then we're going to start plaiting. So now that we have this, we're just going to felt a little bit at the ends. I'm going to leave some a bit free. That's what I want. And then we're just gonna pull these apart and we can felt that to our dog. And he has a nice little plaited tail. So for the next one, and I think this is actually the one I'm going to have for my dog. It kind of resembles the ears. I'm going to take some yarn, some wool, and I'm just going to felt a little bit at the end, folding it over, just getting a nice shape that you'll want on the dog. Don't do it too much. And then I'm actually going to attach this to the dog. So we're going to have something like this, which is like a really big ponytail. And I actually had these for the ears as well. And the best part of all of this, believe it or not, is cutting it off. Obviously, you could leave it like this if you want. I'm just going to cut it off and kind of have it resemble the ears. So it's like giving your dog a, a little haircut. Lots of fun. So this is going to be the dog's tail. Probably a bit big, but I think it's kind of cute. So now our little dog is, of course, in the need of a nose. Now, there's many ways to do this. Some people just felt it on. Some people um, use eyes. I know I've used eyes in the past. Or else you can get little eye things like this, but then the shape of a nose. They're really cute. I just haven't bought any. The way I do it is I get some circles of felt and I actually make out a batch of them. So in here, there's plenty of circles of black felt, die cut out. You can, of course, freehand it. And... 
you can get, you can obviously make them any size you want. What we're going to do is we're going to take our circle of felt and we're going to weave in and out along the edges. So just using a really big running stitch along the entire edge. So once, and then we're going to pull and then I'm just going to give them a few little running stitches to turn them into a bit of a nose kind of a shape. So now once we've done that, we're going to have a felt ball that is sewn and um, pulled together and it's going to have a bit of a flat back. We can attach this to the dog's nose. Um, you could do it with the snout not felted on and that'll probably be a bit easier, but I didn't think of that. So now we're just going to sew this on as centered as we can get it. So I'm going to dig into the felt. and then go into the nose and just repeat until done. And to hide the thread, what I'm gonna do is poke it out on the other side of the head. Use a bit of pushing through and then cut it and it will not fall apart. So next, what we're going to want to do after the nose is our little mouth. Now, some people do them with a black needle and thread. I do that sometimes, but for this one, I think a little discreet felted um, mouth would be better. So what I'm going to do is take a bit. I'm using the same kind of dark gray wool and I'm just going to kind of twist to do a really small discreet smile because that's kind of what I prefer. So I'm going to give just a little felt underneath, directly underneath the nose, pushing quite in. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of a curve. I think I'm happy with this shape. So what I'm going to do is just cut off the ends and felt them in just a little bit. So the last thing we're actually going to do to our animal is finish it off, get the details right. So sometimes this might involve a little bit of a haircut on any kind of flowy bits like the ears or the tail I've here. But most of the time and for most creatures, it really just involves felting all over and making sure there's clear delineations between the different colors and that everything is felted as evenly as possible. So I'm just going to do that over my entire dog. And again, try and have the clear lines possible. And you don't want to felt too deeply. You're just going to want to felt lightly enough just to finish everything off as best as you can. So now I think my dog is more or less done. I like to just pass uh, scissors all over um, the whole felting bit just to really get any fluffy bits that I've left. And this, for me, just really finishes everything off. So once I've done that, my dog is done. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you learned some needle felting finishing tips, tricks, and techniques in this video. If it was fun, please tell me down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. Bye.